Construction automation is heating up faster than ever, and one company, Diamond Age, is trailblazing ahead with nine tools that are going to change the way homes are built forever. We're going to look at automations like concrete printing, rebar placing, stamping, layout marking, pick and placing with trusses, post-tensioned wall systems, LIDAR scanners, drills, or even chemical sprays potentially. In this video, we're going to look at each of those tools individually. I also got the chance to visit these homes in person. In the Toltec area of Eloy, Arizona. At the end of the video, we'll take a look at that. I look pretty different because it's been two months since I released a video. This is because I've been working on something really big that I can't wait to share with you. I'm going to save that for the end of the video as well. So right now, let's get into it. The Diamond Age system has 3D printed concrete walls, in addition to a bunch of automations we'll dive into later. It's interesting to see, sometimes they remove the concrete segments by hand, and other times an automated system like this one slowed down to 10% speed is knocking off portions of the concrete. Perhaps they were messed up, being cut, who knows what's going on here, but it's interesting to see all kinds of different automations. Let's dive into the next. Here we see a picture of a rebar placing robot that Russell Verone shared on his Twitter account, and you can see it. It's a robotic arm that's covered in some kind of weatherproofing. I don't know if that's to protect the brand name or to weatherproof the system uh, from the outdoor environments. Then we have the stamping pot, which can be used for layouts or labeling prefabricated parts. You know where to put them later. Here's a truss placement attachment that allows you to assemble the roof structure without lifting the pieces into place with a forklift or something of that nature. You use the gantry system. Here you see at 25% speed the truss being lowered into place. Although we did see a rebar placing robot in another post, Diamond Age said, who needs rebar when you have post tensioning? And this is their post tensioning system. You can kind of see some strings or wires. They may be electric wires, or it could be the post tensioning wire itself. This is really interesting to see because printed concrete has very little strength and tension, and a post tension system, which is automated, really improves the use case of the technology. Another robot on their gantry system is a LiDAR scanner, and this enables you to map out the slab so that the robot can make the appropriate adjustments for either the speed or amount of material to distribute for the first layer to get it even, and also a scan of the as-built so that when the home is completed, you have the as-built 3D model. This system does not only additive manufacturing, but subtractive manufacturing as well with a drill attachment that's able to create holes in the slab for rebar, or holes in the printed walls for electrical, HVAC, anything you may need to make adjustments for. Here's a cover to preserve humidity on the freshly printed layer. This could probably be automated along with the spray of either water or chemicals to preserve humidity. There are also auxiliary technologies Diamond Age has had to develop in order to succeed, including this batch plant mixer and robotic arms CNC systems. Also custom control booths for the operators because even though the goal is construction automation, there are still a bunch of people on the job site. Here's where Diamond Age was printing homes in Arizona and you can see this build site has two printers doing two different homes and the printers have all the different attachments we mentioned with two separate operator booths as well. Those are the small white boxy structures. Here's an overhead view of the gantry system. They have a light cover and if you look at the tip, that's the robotic arm attachment I believe. Now we fly over and you can see in addition to this project there's a completed home, an empty slab, and also a project underway which has been printed about waist height as of yet. At $278,000, these homes are priced well below the national median of over $400,000. It's unlikely Diamond Age will publicly disclose their cost to build, but here's a layout of their floor plan. Here's a look at the unfinished raw layers. They're much taller per layer than most other systems, and you can see a little bit of variance in the layer heights. You can also see some fibers if you look right at the edge. This may be some kind of steel fibers or something else to improve the tensile strength of the material. I would wonder if they managed to achieve a monolithic structure with such a big layer height. If you can print triple the height of another machine, that means you have one third the layers and potentially three times the speed. So you can complete three homes in the time it takes the other guys to do one. Here's a completed model. Diamond Age recently said that they were able to get a certificate of occupancy from an empty build site in only 65 calendar days. That's incredibly fast. Here's another image of the gantry system with the robotic arm attachment. You can see the robotic arm has the weatherproofing cover on it, or maybe they just don't want us to know what kind of robot it is. At the corner it seems like it alternates which layer goes all the way to the end. I wonder if this alternating pattern has any structural implications. 
looking down the hallways of their printed walls, it looks pretty cool. They seem to be very square and straight. Again, not everything is automated. It's still a man-machine tandem effort. The construction industry is ramping up for a big change, and the winners will be those who embrace technology. Behind me are the Diamond Age 3D printed homes. After checking the fire department and asking them where they were, and then talking to some local roofers, I was managed to figure out that these are actually the printed homes, even though a ton of the homes in this region look very similar. It does make some sense because these fit within the footprint of the gantry system. They're not a weird shape like some of the other homes in the neighborhood. It could be like a longer L or something, but these homes look terrific. They're brand new by Century. There's other Century homes that are stick built in this region. And I saw the Diamond Age co-founder, Russell, at the World of Concrete event who told me that they are going to be comparing the energy efficiency of these homes to a stick built home in the neighborhood, which will receive the same sunlight and ambient conditions. That will give them a great side-by-side -side comparison. Apparently this row of homes behind me is all 3D printed. I didn't get permission to visit today, so I'm not gonna trespass, I'm just on the public road. I'm actually not even gonna put the drone up because we're just gonna see roofs, but these are the Diamond Age homes. They're here, they printed them. It's always really impressive to me the number of homes a group is able to complete because the really interesting thing is when the industry reaches scale. Before I tell you about Diamond Age's next big plan, I want to tell you what I spent the last two months working on while I wasn't making YouTube videos. I was actually updating and redoing my course How to 3D Print a House to include a big fat physics section and concrete testing method section. It's not going to include the drilling and all the other fancy automations we talked about in this video. It's only about 3D printing concrete, but it goes into all kinds of details so that when you start looking at concrete printers for yourself, there'll be far fewer surprises. On April 10th, the price is going up but you can lock in your lifetime access now and the next five members to sign up will get a free consulting call upon graduation. Diamond Age has made a strong first step towards addressing the housing problem and now that they've built so many units they'll have comps it'll be easier to get insurance and they can start working their way up towards the main line of Phoenix.